enemy only comes out when he's threatened. His mission or his lies of deception are threatened. And the men in this room and the men in this club are threatening him. The enemy knows you very well. In some cases, better than we know ourselves at times. When Jesus was here in human form, after he went through 40 days and 40 nights of fasting and was at his weakest moment in human form, the enemy attacked. And Satan came with scripture, twisted scripture, but scripture nonetheless. And if he tempted Jesus, are we too prideful to think he won't do it to us? We all hear a voice in our head. Some of us hear multiple voices in our head. <laughs> we hear that voice of pride, negativity. That's not the Spirit of God speaking to you. The Spirit of God is not going to speak to you in a negative manner about your wife, about your brother. It's not the Spirit of God that is filling your head and building that anger. We are under attack. Half the battle is recognizing what you're dealing with. Amen. I mean, that's half of it right there, yeah. is if we recognize it for what it is. We have to step up our game. We have to take it to another level. We have to give ourselves up. We have to surrender. And in order to surrender, we have to make ourselves vulnerable. And in order to make ourselves vulnerable and surrender, we need to fast. But the important thing is, is that you are giving something up for a period of time. And that period of time, you are committing yourself in prayer, you are committing yourself in the word, you are committing yourself in meditation, and with the fast. And when we fast, when we give up something, and the Lord sees that act of faith, it magnifies our prayers.
So Eddie and I got to build a relationship immediately once we got met each other. Through the steps of going through my time with the club, I've always looked at Eddie as a brother. These patches are cool, man. They're really cool, and they look cool on you guys. But it's more about, it's more than just about these patches, man. Yeah. It's way more. And I cherish the relationships with I, with, that I have with men in this club that go way beyond cloth. Today, I get the honor to present you, brother, with your full <coughs> patches for everyone now to call you. Come up here and get some love. Brother. Come on. I present to you our newest brother, Flash. Yeah. Yeah. Good and gracious God, we come before you and we just pray for these men. We we anoint them so that you you get them everywhere that they're feet.